The Lafitte single is, so Ron Lafitte was, was a, our a and guy at Electra Records. And um, he's a very smart guy, well-spoken. Um, came after us for a long period of time and we eventually signed with that label. But the, once we signed, I didn't hear from him very much anymore. And he eventually left Electra and he became a manager of a band that was on Electra, which was a little, had us perplexed. But the, the, week, that he qu- the, the week that he quit his job, we of course got dropped. And um, so we saw a little bit of a connection there and we weren't very happy with him. I wasn't happy that once the record came out, I never saw him and I never got to, it, he, it was very, very hard to get him on the phone. He probably just didn't like the way, he probably was, he probably felt like, yeah, this is not the way things were supposed to go. The record's tanking, it's tanking just as bad as the, the Matador one did and, uh, and I don't wanna hear this guy ask me why on the phone, you know. I've never seen him since. But um, Not once. He, he always says the right things about that period of time. You know, he doesn't feel good about the way it went down. But for us, in the moment, in 98, after we got dropped, we were not too happy with this guy, Ron Lafitte. And um, somehow we were on, we did, did some show opening for At The Drive-In. And uh, no, At The Drive-In opened for us. And we opened for Guided by Voices at this one show it was in Houston. And was, we were driving down there, um, our tour manager guy, you know, just this, our friend Hunter, um, just said, oh, the agony of Lafitte, kind of out of the blue. I was like, what? <laughs> you know, and that, that was like, a, that spurred, you know, the agony of Lafitte, that sounds like a song title. And then we came up with uh, Lafitte, Don't Fail Me Now. And then once we had these two, song titles it was just like we gotta come put up we gotta write songs for these things and uh you know for us it, it felt um a bit cathartic and it felt cool to you know just put it out there like we're gonna we're gonna use some names and we're gonna talk about why this sucked and um how that maybe the band didn't get a fair shake and maybe it was because of this guy <laughs> 